hello there YouTube and thanks for coming back to our channel it's been a little while since we've been able to make a video uh, we started to get this thing rolling back up in uh, May I guess it was of this year and then all of a sudden June July August rain 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 running and running and running seven days a week no time to make videos no time to do editing so I'm back at it we're gonna try this again uh, so thanks for checking in today we got lucky. Hurricane Dorian slid right past us on the East Coast. We didn't get the rain and the winds we were supposed to get, but we took today off. We took yesterday off. So today I'm going to go into that barn right there. And there is a, uh, a Hustler 60 that has a flat tire. We need that thing tomorrow. And I don't have time to be pumping it up tomorrow, making sure the tire pressures are even so we're not scalping on one side. So let's take a walk and fix that tire right now. This is the mower right here that has the flat tire. Well, it's not flat right now. We pumped it up earlier today to move it around a little bit. But this back tire right here goes flat pretty fast. We do a lot of field mowing with this, with this uh, mower, like five acres at a time, seven acres at a time. So we just probably got a hole from barbed wire, thorn, who knows. All right, I'm gonna start it up, get it out of that hole, get this compressor out of the way find my floor jack in this mess here someplace I know there's a floor jack and then uh, we'll get going on that tire That's in spot. I have no idea where the floor jack is. We gotta take a walk and find that sucker. I know where the floor jack went. It's outside in the enclosed trailer because we had a couple flat tires. So we decided to carry the floor jack with us. But the problem with that is we were supposed to get a hurricane last week. Way out there, out in the open field, away from all these oak trees that could have fallen down with the wind force we were predicted to get is the floor jack. So let's take a walk out there. Holy crap. This is absolutely going to suck. I forgot we threw everything in here. Anything that might blow away. There's what I need. All the way in the far corner. Dull. Well, let's work at it. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna be honest, I am wiped out. That floor jack right there was not so heavy when I started carrying it at the trailer way the heck back there. But by the time I got back up here to the barn, tired. After all that, it doesn't even work. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, well, it's working now. I just had to pump it up, cycle it up and down a couple times. I don't know if the fluid got aerated for me carrying the thing upside down or what, but thankfully, it's working right now. All right, now, let's get our impact going. Let's get the socket size that we need and get that tire off that mower.
It's off. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a lot of air in there. Probably like 30 pounds of pressure. Soak it up. Spray it with some soapy water. See where the bubbles come up. I'm going to get some soapy water. I'll be right back. Back. What I did, a whole bunch of Dawn disc detergents inside here and a little bit of water. Heavy, heavy soap. That way the bubbles don't turn into a bazillion little bubbles. You get one big bubble. You can see where the air leak is. I've been here and done this a thousand times. It's no fun. All right, I gotta get some air in this tire. More air than there already is. should be more than enough. Right, we'll start with the valve. Just we'll spray the valve and see if that's where it is. Guess I got it. It's not the valve. Front bead. This thing goes flat pretty quick, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. The bead looks good, the valve looks good. Let's check the back bead first. It's a hole in the sidewall. Let me go find our tire plug kit. We're we'll gonna put a plug in that hole, fill it up, put it back on the mower, and hope for the best in tomorrow morning. All right, so you'll never guess where this tire plug kit was. All the way back there in the truck, which is two acres to my right. So, anyway, all right. Yeah, we go through a lot of tire plugs, so I ended up buying it professional grade kit everything is metal the handles are metal the little collar is metal everything is there for you oh, and the plugs that I like to use because I used to be in the automotive industry are the brown rope plugs I don't like the black ones I like these brown gooey rope plugs 
They just seem to stay in there. They don't require glue usually. So take the plug, squeeze the heck out of the end of it, make it as flat as you can make it. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Thread it through the tools and corners you can. Wiggle, wiggle, push, push, and then pull it halfway through. Now, find your hole again. Easier said than done. Now I am not going to take the reamer. I'm not going to take the reamer and shove it in the hole. I don't think I am. Maybe I will. I keep losing the damn hole. Just trying to find the angle of the hole to make sure I put the plug in with the angle of the hole. That's what this reamer is good for. I didn't plan on doing it, but I couldn't see where the hole was. Okay. Y'all catch that on camera? My tool camera for Even steady pressure, don't blow through the plug. Yeah. Well, ah, always happens on camera. My little set screw is gone. Tell you what, this stuff lays around the truck long enough, everything falls apart. Okay, now me, I like to push the plug in to about a quarter of an inch just sticking out. I do a half a turn and they go pop. The half a turn creates a little knot on the inside of the tire, so you can't pull the plug back out when you pull the tool out. We're fixed. We are done. Well, we're done plugging the tire. Now we got to put the tire back on the mower. Oh, somebody on YouTube would have yelled at me for this one. I almost forgot the final step of cutting off the plug in. Can't yell at me now.
make sure you uh, torque down your wheels here. I use a different torque table than specified by the manual. I follow the uh, good enough tighten spec table. Good enough, good enough, good and tight enough. That was a little joke I heard on YouTube this morning on somebody else's channel. I thought it was awesome. to do and tie enough. Alright, well, I'm going to call this project done. I'll clean all this crap up off camera. It's not too bad. But um, tomorrow morning, we'll come out. And I hope this tire is fixed. I'm tired of putting air in it all the time. And we need this mower tomorrow. Bad. We need this thing to be running probably five up to eight hours tomorrow. We're going to do a lot of mowing tomorrow. Time to catch up after Hurricane Dorian screwed us, slid past us. I'm very happy it screwed us, but kind of messed up our time schedule. Schedule? What the hell is that? Time schedule. I'm out. <laughs>